Oh, right, all right, all right, guys. It is time for the final game of this week. Scorched Earth, Icy Fire, where players had to uh, base trade their way to victory. Up here in the top right, in the red, the Protoss player, it is Salorn. And the opponent down here in the bottom left, the Terran, it's Terran Axel. It's not Axel Toss, it's Terran Axel. So, if you guys want to get your replays in for next week, don't forget the new challenges. That belongs in a museum. Use the most rare upgrades. So, Neural Parasite, Burrow, Warp Prism Speed, uh, COVID, cor cor COVID, COVID Reactor. Fucking drilling claws. Uh, get your fucking transformation servo, Viking drops, or Helldat morphs in the mineral lines. You know, show us some cool shit, guys. Uh, use microbial shroud. That's not an upgrade. I don't care. It's rare enough. You use it. I'm counting it. You've spent energy on it. You've you've upgraded it with the opportunity cost of using actual good spell, aka fungal or neural. So get your replays in for next week. Looking forward to casting those. Should be on the same day as always next week. Uh, this is the final game for this week. We have four replays this week. We, we always do three to five, usually. And uh, this probe is going to come in. Now, for those who don't know, Terran players have a special love of this probe. They especially like it when it harasses the SCV building the barracks or steals their gas. Those are Terran players' two favorite things. They, oh, fucking love it. Oh, he just he just wants to play. He wants to come and uh, do a little zappy zap. You fucking piece of shit. Get the fuck out of my base. Is he going to block it? Is he going to block the commands? The Drilly Boy's like, get out of here. Oh my god, right in the butt. Oh my god, that's got to hurt me. That's got to hurt. He just drilled him in the butt a few times. Okay, the probe's like, none of that, please. This is not prison. Get out. Probe's going to back off. Command center goes down right on time. Nice opening. I, mean, I guess it was a little a little delayed for Terran Axel. Terran Axel, is he scouted? Ooh, blind Terran. And, uh, well, what's... Okay. Straight into a factory. But... It's not really building anything else. Oh my. Okay, I think we're... They both looked like they were doing really normal openings, but now the Terran just spent like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, not building off the barracks, nor building a second depot, and now building a tech lab. Definitely going to see some weird. Meanwhile, oh! That's definitely a... Yeah, that's a cock on his head for sure. He's clearly there to proxy, right? Oh, this Reaper's in the base. Stalker's still not out. Oh, please, please, please pop that. Oh, change, change the rally point. Change the rally point. Damn it. I really wanted to see that Stalker go to prison. Anyways, Reaper gets a second probe kill. Terran Axel here. Wow. That Reaper. Is he going to get a third? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, he, gets, he pulls back. Wants to try to survive, and I think he will. Oh, he wants that probe so hard, though. Look at that Reaper. He's got the most... What's he doing? He's corner himself. He's like, he's got such an easy path out of the base. And the Terran's just like, he's like, but my boner. And I'm like, dude, just, just waistband it, waistband it. He's like, there's a Reddit point probe over there. And I'm like, just either commit to it and get the probe or leave. And he's like, nah, nah, nah. I'm like, dude, just waistband it, get out of there or go for the probe. And he's like, nah. <laughs> and the Reaper just gets killed. I'm like, okay, should have, uh, should have prioritized one or the other, mate. Still two probes, not bad. So Lorne. He's going to go for a very sneaky third Nexus. And, uh... Oh! Isn't rallying probes at home. Salon messing... Oh, Salon is not building probes at all. <laughs> this is my favorite. I love when I see a player go for something really... Oh, I want to take a sneaky third base and get so far ahead in economy. You look back, they haven't built probes in the last minute, and you're like... About that. I think there may be a missing piece of the puzzle to really make the third base pay off. One might be setting a rally point on the Nexus... Went to build a robo and then accidentally stopped it. Still not building probes. I think Salorn's so freaked out just by knowing how weird it is to go for this Nexus that the fundamentals are falling apart a little bit. Oh my god, still hasn't changed the rally point to the natural and is still queuing up one probe at a time. Day nine! I blame you for this, Sean. Sean goddamn plot. Trying to explain the fundamentals of the game that you shouldn't be queuing up extra units at a time unless you need to. And out there, everyone from Bronze to Platinum League is like, well, gonna queue one worker at a time. And I'm like, no, you're too bad at macroing. You're too slow. Q2 on each Nexus. Stop, please, please. <laughs> it's fine. Terran player is pretty rough around the edges anyway. Other side of the map, we've got, what looks like Cyclone Tank Mech. There is an engineering base, so it can build turrets. Hopefully it does get some for safety as we are going to be seeing DTs coming out, proxied up here at this corner base. So Lorne is now getting on top of the macro a little bit more. 
starting to chrono probes, queuing a couple more up, but the gaps in the probe production have, have been rather large. Largest probus gap. Um, there we go. Starts to queue up a few more probes. So, so Lorne's getting on top of the macro now. I do. I mean, it, both of them are so blind. This Terran player, by the way, did scout with the Reaper and nothing since then. And I think we're going to... He's building a sensor tower already. What the fuck? I watch a video uh, stream. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I don't know. I, I see Terrans that like just their whole plan is to just surround their base with like turrets, tanks, and sensor towers. And then they complain about how they can't beat their opponent. I'm like, you know, you sunk 80% of your early money into static defense, right? Like, and they're like, yeah, but otherwise I just died a thing and thing and thing. And I'm like, oh God, you know, you could just put a fucking cyclone in the main and it covers it, right? And they're like, like, what's the bet? We see 14 turrets on this edge and then another eight over here before we get past the eight minute mark. I bet you before we see a third command center. Fuck. I didn't finish the bet. I don't lose it. You guys don't win anything. Oh, now he puts the turrets down. Why are you trying to troll me? Goddamn cast a fucking curse. Piece of shit. Oh, we've got to get a third command center before the turrets. I have a vague understanding of how to macro. Fuck you, mate. Fucking Terran Axel. Prove me wrong. Uh, DT Shrine's been done for a while. No DTs have warped in. And that's unfortunate because there's no detection down there. And even the turrets that are building are there to block warp prisms. DTs would have a bit of a bit of a fun time. It's going to try and wall off down the front. It's still got actually some really nice production for Axel. And we've got, what, DT Blink on the way. DTs are warping in but not committing yet. I tell you, Mass DT Blink, pretty good for the base trade, guys. This one might actually look really good. And Salon's, after my early criticism of the macro... It has been pretty friggin' clean. I was like, oh, build more probes, re, you know? But 56 probes versus two base, 40 SCV Terran. That's pretty sick. Now, Terran Axel has stopped building SCVs, which I think is going to be a big problem. And it's not using these tech labs to get, like, mag field or anything. And it's Cyclone Hellion mech. So mag field and blue flame are your most important upgrades. Mag field being especially important. Attack upgrades do almost nothing for Hellions and Cyclones. They're only really good for tanks, so... Bit misordering here for Axel. But we'll build a big army and... Oh! First scouting in, like, the last eight minutes. Just scans and goes, Okay, you're building some Stalkers and Immortals? Doesn't really see much. There's no idea about the DTs. He's just gonna go for it. No no mag field, no blue flame, but that's a lot of Cyclones and Hellions, and... Is charge done? Charge is not done. Oof. Might have to use DTs defensively as well. Uh, I mean, the, sh the shield battery will help. And remember, there's no mag field, so the Immortals will actually take forever to die to Cyclone lock-ons. Scan. Is, is Terran Axel going to scan? Oh, actually, takes out a lot of Zealots here. This is looking pretty good for Terran Axel, mate. Charge is not ready yet. Okay, whenever they stand their ground, though, the Immortals obliterate them. Hot da Oh, DT flank. DT! Oh, shit, a bunch of invisible boys in the back door. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, that tactic is called Surprise Butt Stuff. Um, not the battle mech player's favorite. Cyclone's very fragile. When they are surprised from the rear, they do end up taking damage very quickly. A very expensive unit, slow to build up. Cyclone count has been whittled down, but there's a third lander now, so that does give some economy. And um, so we know there's DTs. No turrets building at the third, or the natural, or the main. Okay, let's go to Terran Axel's camera and do a bit of a psychological breakdown. Okay, we just saw DTs. We're going to drop all of our energy into mules on the third. And I think one more factory. That'll help us get detection. Ready to raise some head. Do, do you think he didn't realize? I don't think he realized, guys. Ghosts aren't real! Ghosts aren't real! I'm like, ghosts are clearly real. You just got stabbed by one, okay? <laughs> when you go into your kitchen in the middle of the night... And there's a ghost there making fucking toast and he just turns and looks at you and you're like, what the fuck? And you like rub your eyes and he's still there and he goes and shakes your hand and says, hey, I'm Jimmy, died 70 years ago, unresolved business, uh, you know, do kind of hang out here, usually in the middle of the night while you're sleeping, I try to not be too creepy, can you just be okay? And you're like, this is fucking freaking me, I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming, it's not real. And he goes, um, oh, how can I prove this to you that I'm real? I'm Jimmy the ghost. Grab some fucking peanut butter and just smears it on your forehead. You're like, okay, that's real peanut butter. You taste it. It's real. Okay, cool. No, ghosts aren't real. Ghosts aren't real. I'm in denial. Jimmy's like, okay, if that's how you're going to deal with this, that's all right. Now, the reason that's problematic in this scenario is... 
they didn't just smear peanut butter on your cyclones forehead, they fucking killed a bunch of them, and it was blatantly obvious they were invisible dudes doing it. Terran Axel, though, his response seems to be, we're gonna grab a bunch of cyclones and hellions, they still do not have magfield, the most important upgrade, almost got blue flame, so points for that. We're gonna fucking attack move here, and try to kill some shit. Okay, not bad, wants to lock on, run away, lock on, run away. Still no detection at home. Nah, just chillin'? Okay, just chillin', alright, why not? Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, more cyclones are in the way. What's the plan for Solorn, by the way? He's just gonna, just gonna wait. It's like, alright, I'm gonna hang on, and at the moment my defense crumbles, I'm gonna counterattack with 18 blink DTs. Oh my god, every immortal hit that lands, these cyclones just get shredded. Why doesn't Salon just wait on the high ground, guys? Okay, well, at least force the scans. There we go. That, oh my god, that immortal takes out a couple. This is not going too bad for Salon, to be honest. It's just is not reinforcing this army, but I feel like Salon could just A-move this, right? Even the Zealots are going to actually shred these Cyclones whenever they charge on them, right? So I think Salon's actually doing okay on the defense, and you can see the follow-up from Terran Axel is still to not have Magfield to deal with the Stalkers or Immortals any quicker and to just build more Cyclones. So, with this style, you really want to be mass expanding. He's going to use all the scans to see the bases. Still not saving energy, any energy for scans, and no turrets. I... What, what do we call this as a Terran player, guys? This is like, like, like what do you call a, a... It's like a swarm of DTs, right? It's like, like, like when you see like a locust swarm, like some biblical shit. Have you guys seen seen footage of those locust swarms that go across? I think it's like the southern US and stuff, right? And like Mexico and shit. Every now and then, you guys have like locust swarms. I didn't. I thought that was some biblical shit. I didn't even think that was real. I was watching some documentary. I was like, what the fuck? That's essentially what that is. You just see this like blur in the air, and you go, what the fuck is that? Um, people in chat are saying it's a gaggle of Dark Templar. Others are saying it's a fart of Dark Templar, so the silent and deadly kind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. I like that. Well, the fart of DTs is coming in silent and fucking deadly. Look at how quickly this orbital's gonna die. They're not really targeting it, but oh my god, it's already burning. All right, the Cyclones and Hellions getting in, but I mean, even if you just warp in a single DT or two, you can work on it. Now, Salorn here is saying, we're gonna blink to the high ground. Are you just gonna make an arc on, buddy? You know you can blink up there, right? He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's thinking, of there we go. <laughs> That was kind of sexy. DTs and Archon getting a lot of damage on him. Just blink on the Cyclones, mate. Why are we even afraid? I love that Salorn's like overthinking this so bad. Just A move, man. Okay, there we go. The DTs are doing a good job. Blink on him. Yeah! And th th remember, there's no turrets built in the main, the natural. There's no scans saved up. Luckily, it was, was not dropping mules recently. All the production's getting right. There's still no DT on this side of the map. So Lorne, just warp in like two DTs. You can keep everything alive on your side of the base. So Lorne, though, I think is just as ex Oh my god, he's in his gateways get deep. Please, please, warp in some fucking DTs, mate. Ah, so Lorne. Ah, oh, well. So Lorne to the main base of Salon. So long to the Salon main base. He's going to take a, a night in the Salon and uh, get drunk old West style. Magfield? Magfield, no! <laughs> Two seconds from Magfield finishing, it gets denied. All the gateways are being depowered. I don't think it matters, because he's got like 400 DTs. There's one orbital, one barracks. Those are the only buildings. So you've got no detection. The only way Terran Axel can win is through base trade elimination, right? Or very slowly... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Beavis and Butthead finally let out all their teenage violent urges on that pack of defenseless SCVs. 12 kills, 13 kills apiece for Beavis and Butthead. This Archon says time to get fucked. Barracks is going to try to get that into the burning. Remember guys, 33% hit points. 130 hit points, you get below that, you start burning. So that's 500 hit points for a command center. 333 hit points is when you start burning for a barracks. Meanwhile, the DT is just running around. So Lorne's taking a little while here to gather things up. That barracks. Oh my god, it's getting low. We can hide in the dead space, though. There it does. 
The DTs are running around in a big old clump. So Lorne not really thinking about splitting the units up yet. <laughs> And is losing all the buildings and has not sent probes elsewhere. If Salorn finds a way to lose this game, I will be very impressed, guys. And don't count Salorn out. I really think Salorn could hit a home run of throwing the game if you let all these cyclones run in. They kill buildings very quick. All the probes are in one location. The DTs are running around in a big clump. There's nothing at home. There's no warpins. Can recall. Magfield's not done, which is going to slow down the eliminating of the base. Okay, fucking thank God. A bit of insurance. These probes go out on the map. He's going to try to maybe morph an Archon under here. So Lorne has nothing at home and the only probe going on. The map runs into the army. Terranaxel not A moving. Oh my god, what am I watching? I'm going to get a fucking stress hernia. No. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's what we were waiting for. That's what we were waiting for. Oh god. Okay, Axel should be dead, right? Okay, and there's a Nexus in the other corner. There's no way to get eliminated. You can morph Archons and shoot that, you know. I mean... <laughs> it's great, because even pro gamers make a lot of mistakes in base trades. But it's just especially incredible watching kind of lower level players do it, because they make so many fucking mistakes. Because, <laughs> like, it's not even that they're making mistakes, it's just that they're not really doing much, right? Like, there's just, there's very little goal of what they're doing. They're just kind of like... <gasps> like, you can see that their heart is beating really fast, they're stressed out, they're over-microing things. That barracks is not burning, guys. So even if you get the command center, which he's focusing everything on, Salon is just like, I cannot split my army up. Finally recalls some DTs, but that, that's very low. Blink on him, blink on him. Oh, he, he chases him off. Okay, so he keeps the Nexus alive. Cyclone's going to look for the Archon. Command Center's going to try and land up there and maybe repair itself. Um, for those who don't know, you need to manually spam lock-ons to do more than one lock-on on a target. Otherwise, only one Cyclone will lock-on and the rest will just do their shitty little missile pod attack. It's enough, though. They outnumber these Archons pretty heavily. DTs come in. He's going to stop that repairing. Ah, lifts off, gets a little bit of repair down. Tons of money in the bank for both sides, and I think we're going to eight times speed this. Finally, a single chat is going to come out. Okay, here we go. Come on. Blink on him. Blink on him. Please. Please. Finish. Finish him. The Chad. Don't lose the Chad. Oh my god. Is he going to lose the only Stargate unit that will finish the game? Okay, thank god. Stargate goes down, but do not lose the fucking only Chad. Please. <laughs> Why is it taking so long to finish? This is like watching... I I'm trying to... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking of every example of people who are unable to finish. Um, and that just ran through my head on fast forward, so... If you're wondering why I'm giggling, it's... I just had a montage of people that were unable to finish and were really struggling. Um, and it kind of made me entertained. Um, there's a Nexus down here, there's shipbuilding. Eventually, eventually these DTs... I mean, you can blink on them at any moment. Finally! <laughs> Oh, I love how people can look like they have so much direction and focus in a game, and the moment a base trade happens, we all fall to pieces to some level or another, right? We all we all play way worse in a base trade. It's so hard to not tunnel vision on things, but uh, still on there, had it in the bag with the Blink DTs, and uh, it does end up taking that out. If there was a Raven with the army, maybe. Maybe could have been totally different, right? But uh, did not seem to realize that there was indeed... Dark Templar, despite the ghosts literally attacking him earlier in the game. Um, so shout out to Terran Axel for being completely just, just, no, nope, don't exist, don't exist, don't exist, ghosts don't exist. And shout out to Salorn for the proxy expand blink DT waiting for the base trade. GG, well played, mate. Thank you very much for sending that one in.